All right, I am here to discover more about Outlander, which is a book now coming to television. Tell me a little bit about where the concept came for when you were writing the book. Ah, well, it wasn't a concept as such. It was a desire to learn how to write a novel. I said, uh, I've never written a novel. Obviously, the only way to learn is to write one, so I'm going to write a novel for practice. In 1946, at the end of World War II, an, a British ex-army combat nurse named Claire Randall goes to the Scottish Highlands with her husband on a second honeymoon. So she's out walking by herself one day in the Highland Meadow, finds a circle of standing stones. She walks through it and disappears back into 1743. I seem to through time. Where the first person she meets is a gentleman in an 18th century army officer's uniform who looks just like her husband and turns out to be his six times great grandfather. Unfortunately, he also turns out to be a sadistic bisexual pervert. And while trying to get away from him, she falls into the hands of a gang of Scots who are also trying to get away from him for their own reason. Something catch your eye, they love. How do you guys feel with getting to play with that on television and having to you know, make sure that the period pieces look as they should? Well, it's fun. It's fun to create another world that doesn't exist. I think that's the, probably the one similarity between Battlestar and Star Trek that I've done in this, is that you are creating a world that is not the world that the audience lives in day to day. It was important to me to sort of say, all right, the books really have all this detail about history and there's a lot of research that went into it, so let's embrace that. Let's make the, the period as truthful as we can to really try to make it authentic, to make it really feel like the 18th century, to not reinvent it and not to give it sort of a hip modern spin. Am I going to meet a tall, dark stranger and take a trip across the sea? Tell me a little bit about your characters in Outlander and what kind of experiences you have to go through in a show like this where there's a whole lot of traveling going on. There is. I play Claire Randall, who is a combat nurse in the Second World War. And I go to Scotland with my husband to kind of have a second honeymoon. And I get transported in time to 1743, where I come upon this young Highlander. Yes. <laughs> Jamie Fraser is my character I play, and uh, yeah, and then we sort of basically go from there. That we we fall, fall in love. love and meet another character called Black Jack Randall, who's played by Tobias Menzies, who is a nasty piece of work, if you ask me. Besides having the really unique story, what do you think it is about Outlander that's going to draw in the crowd? It's a really great story, and it kind of spans this multitude of genres. It's got romance, but it's also got so much action, and it's got slight sci-fi, historical aspects, not this kind of sappy romance it's like a real gritty yeah. world and it's, it's really fun yeah it's definitely something for everyone if you're not a fan of the books you, you will be by the time you watch this series it's you know and it's very authentic and close to the books as well so you know the fans will be disappointed for a woman you do ask a fair amount of questions so i've been told